A bombing investigation is underway in Mississauga after 15 people were injured in a blast at this restaurant. Good afternoon. Several children were among the families dining at Bombay Bell restaurant last night when the explosive device was detonated. 15 adults were injured. None of the children was hurt. Two women and a man were critically wounded. Police have released this surveillance photo of the suspects. Both are wearing jeans and dark hoodies pulled up over their heads. Police across the GTA are now on alert. Our thoughts and our prayers go out to the victims and to their families. We know this is an extremely difficult time for them. I want to assure everyone that every police resource is being used right now to locate the people responsible for this horrendous act. This is a scene from our CTV News Chopper. The restaurant is in a plaza at Huron, Ontario and Eglinton. Police tape has closed off a large part of the parking lot there. Debris is still littered uh, out front. And the vehicles belonging to some of the customers are being held inside the crime scene. CTV Sean Lee Thong is outside there with the very latest. Sean. Well, Michelle Ken, we're just north of the area at here, Ontario and Armdale, that side of the parking lot. The Peel Police Forensic Unit have arrived on scene. They continue their investigation as it's been a maddening day after what was described as a heinous crime. In the morning, debris sits outside the Bombay Bell restaurant, evidence of a chaotic scene just hours earlier. It was 10.30 last night when two men wearing hoodies, faces covered, entered with what police are calling an improvised explosive device. And shortly after... A blast. Everything was destroyed. Uh, lots of bloods, blood in the, the floor. Many people are screaming. Uh, they are trying to run out from the, the restaurant. There had been two birthday parties inside at the time. Witnesses described broken glass, a nurse trying to help as police, fire and EMS work to control the scene. In all, 15 people were injured, three critically, a 35-year-old man from Brampton, a 62-year-old woman and 48-year-old woman, both from Mississauga. They have since been upgraded to stable. I would call it a very heinous, reprehensible act. This morning, Mississauga Mayor Bonnie Crombie was noticeably upset as she spoke to the media. Certainly the people who have done this need to answer for their crimes and they need to be brought to justice. Other victims range in age from 23 to 69 years old. They have since been treated and released. There were also children under the age of 10 inside at the time. Luckily, none of them were hurt. Now, Chief Evans had also been asked if there were any motive for this. They said at this time they have no reason to believe that it's a hate crime, no reason to believe that it is terrorism, but the investigation is ongoing. Reporting live from Mississauga, I'm Sean Ethan. Ken, we'll send it back to you. Thank you, Sean. You heard the Peel Police Chief say this morning that all police resources are being used to find those responsible for this bombing. CTV's Tracy Tong joins us now. She is near the scene following the search for the suspects. Tracy. Well, Ken, I'm in a nearby neighborhood just east of the plaza where police say the two suspects were last seen running towards, and it's a big concern for the residents around here as those suspects are still at large. Police are carefully analyzing footprints left in the mud at the corner of Ken Court Drive and Preston Meadow Avenue, just a few hundred meters away from the explosion site. Down the street, two gloves laying side by side in front of a house are also cordoned off and taken as evidence by police. We know the police will find them, I'm sure. Police are looking for these two suspects wearing hoodies with their faces covered, seen walking into Bombay Bell restaurant around 1030 last night. They were last seen fleeing east on foot from the scene where police are canvassing today. I'm scared. Yes, I'm scared because, you know, we don't feel safe anywhere. It's pretty scary. Uh, honestly, you know, I have small kids. Officers knocking on doors, asking neighbors if they saw any suspicious activity and if they have any surveillance video. Just asking about if that was connected or not. I just want, uh, you know, the police and the, the people who are handling this investigation to find them as soon as possible. And we should ensure that this doesn't happen in future. Meanwhile, other tenants at the plaza are waiting to see when they can get back to work. This employee lives on Hickory Drive near the June 2016 explosion site on that street. Well, it definitely brings back memories of the, you know, traumatic experience, right? Luckily, I didn't hear that boom, but I did back home at Hickory. 
Now, the first male suspect is being described as between 5 foot 10 and 6 feet tall with a stocky build. The second male suspect is between 5 foot 9 and 5 foot 10 with a thin build. They were both seen wearing dark zip up hoodies with the hoods over their heads and their faces covered. Anyone with information is asked to contact police or Crime Stoppers. Reporting live, I'm Tracy Tong. Back to you. Thank you, Tracy. And officials in Ottawa are keeping an eye on the investigation. Public Safety Minister Ralph Goodell says federal resources are available to investigators in Mississauga. The Peel Regional Police are obviously uh, in charge of, uh, of the investigation uh, and they are proceeding in the, uh, in the normal and proper way. Um, federal uh, authorities, including uh, the RCMP, are, are there to be of assistance uh, in, in any way possible and obviously uh, collaborating and cooperating uh, to make this a, a, a seamless effort uh, and a very effective police effort. CTV's safety analyst Chris Lewis joins us now. Yeah, here we are. Chris uh, uh, oh, uh, is beautiful. just getting—he's just getting uh, suited up for us here. Chris, it's Ken Shaw. Can you hear me? I can. I can hear you very well. Thank okay. you. Okay, so Chris, uh, pretty unusual device in this part of the world—an improvised explosive device. You know, it's something that we associate with terrorist acts in the Middle East. What do you make of that? Well, without a doubt, that's something we see in the Middle East and haven't seen a lot of it in Canada, but we have the odd one uh, more recently in York Region, some in the Hamilton area years ago. And we saw a lot of biker bombings at one point and mafia bombings way back in the 70s. So we haven't seen it for a while. We're seeing it again. Does that mean now because terror is kind of the order of the day that is terrorism? Not necessarily. It may well be just a, a crime beef of some sort or some personal vendetta between people or groups. Yeah, I, I think it is something that we always struggle with. We, we, we want to know the reason behind this. But, you know, if, if the bombers, if, usually if it's some kind of a political act, uh, then, then we, we get some kind of a message from the group behind it, right, taking responsibility for the act. As far as you and I know, there has That's not right. been anything like that. Haven't heard anything of the sort at all. I know the RCMP are involved, as they would be, just to cover those bases. But it's likely just a very serious and terrifying criminal act uh, between certain groups of people uh, within Mississauga uh, in, the, in the Peel region. So Peel region's got a great police department, Ken, and, and they'll work with their partner agencies and, and they'll get a handle on this. They've got a lot of work to do, but uh, they can do it. And, and, and what do they do exactly, Chris? I mean, uh, they, go, they go out now looking for surveillance video. They want to find this pair as far back as they can before they got to the restaurant and as far forward exactly. uh, a, a after they left. What, what else are they doing? Well, they're interviewing everybody that was there. And some of the people would have left before police even got there. So they're trying to figure out who was in that place and find out what they saw, what they heard. And then does anybody have a beef with them? Is there some sort of a, a, a motive to hurt or kill anybody that was in that place? Uh, is it something against the owner of the establishment? Uh, is it uh, just meant to terrify the heck out of people, not really meant to kill, even though it was kind of lucky that didn't happen? And they've got the post-blast investigation to try and sort out what was that bomb all about? Where did the materials come from? Was it a sophisticated attack or not in terms of the technology used? And I think not, but uh, time will tell. All right, former OPP Commissioner of CTV's uh, safety analyst, Chris Lewis. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it. My pleasure, Ken. And Mississauga Mayor Bonnie Crombie joins us live now. Mayor Crombie, earlier when you characterized this incident, you said, this is not my Mississauga. And I think a lot of people like to think that this sort of thing, it doesn't happen in our neck of the woods, but it has. Yes, nonetheless, we are a safe, strong and a resilient city. Yes, we've been shaken, but our resolve is and our faith and our confidence are, is in Peel Regional Police. And I know that they'll solve this crime. And I, these criminals will be apprehended. I have my utmost confidence and they will be brought to justice. Mayor Crombie, have you had a, the opportunity to speak to any of the victims, perhaps with their families? And what are they saying? So the names of the victims have not been released. I have not had an opportunity to speak to any of them. I'm very, very grateful that there have been no fatalities and that the three that are remaining in hospital have been upgraded uh, from serious to stable. I'm very grateful as well that no children were injured and, of course, that there were no fatalities. Mm -hmm. uh, we heard earlier for some, from some residents, and, and they said they're scared. What is your message to residents this afternoon? Surely there are some who are going to be fearful about maybe just going about their day. 
residents should not be fearful. This is, we believe, an isolated incident. There is no evidence whatsoever um, of anything of the sort. There's no indication that this is a hate crime or an act of terrorism, but nothing has been ruled out. We are a strong, a safe and a resilient community. We've been one of the safest cities in Canada for over 20 years, and we remain one of the safest communities. We are in the hands of Peel Police. They have an excellent record of apprehending uh, criminals in these sorts of situations, and I'm very confident they will this time as well. And yet we have had a look at the suspects. They are unfortunately still out there. Give us a sense of the resources you're deploying. So certainly uh, Peel Regional Police have reached out to local police forces, RCMP, OPP, the Toronto Police have offered their services. We have had calls of support from the Prime Minister, from the Premier, from Minister Ralph Goodale, um, from Mayor John Tory. A number of people have reached out and said whatever resources we can assist, if we can help you, uh, feel free to call. So we will do so should we need them. Mayor Bonnie Crombie, we know this is a very busy day for you. We thank you for your time in the update. Thanks for having me on. Thank you.